Hello Virgo and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of August 31st through September 6th and this is a very general reading here let's see what's on the plate Virgo September here already this year has really flown by in a very challenging year okay so what are we seeing here for Virgo in general Virgo it's like you're kind of stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward or you're thinking something over. Um, it's time to make that choice or whatever it is and start moving forward. It's like there's a sense of your procra it's procrastination. You're procrastinating something, okay? It's you're mulling something over in that. I don't know what area it is. Could be love, could be any area. Um, but there is that energy that you have to move forward. Um, you have to reclaim your power back somehow. So if you're feeling like insecure or you're feeling, I don't know, it's like taking back your power is going to be very important as well. Okay, so seeing that energy. More positive um, thinking is coming through, so that's good. Looks like more positive um, than negative thinking this week too. So that looks um, much better as well. So, okay. Virgo, lots of adjustments with the home foundation, heart of the matter. Ooh, Virgo. Virgo, you're separating from something, okay? Now, um, you have to watch your health and well-being. This is like a recovery period, so get the rest you need. Maybe you've been just doing so much, and it's like, you know what? You have to just lay down, put your hands behind your back, and rethink some things over. It's like taking the time and silent contemplation is very important. Okay, so yeah, time for yourself. I guess that's the best way I can explain this. Especially if it's got to do with matters of the heart or relationships. So I'm seeing that. Now there's going to be some sudden changes for some of you in different ways here. Um, I'm looking at work um, or career. There is options or something, okay? Maybe um, you're handling a lot of things and you'd probably be able to get a lot of things done. But at the same time, I am seeing there is a huge uh, energy that things um, with finances, there could be some surprises and some uh, or shocks. For some of you, there can be a fight or a an argument over finances. There is something's changing. You have a cross. There's death and rebirth. You have some burdens. Um, sudden changes, okay? Now, it's in your foundation, too. For some of you, this is sudden change where you suddenly have to move, okay? Maybe it's moving home, um, and you're going to have to invest in that, or you're going to have to move from a location. There is some sudden changes that are occurring here, okay? Um, matters of the heart, too, I do see they're coming in, for, it's coming in very strongly. There's going to be some conflict. For some of you, this is internal conflict, because you're either thinking of the past or you you have some regrets or something is showing up here where you have some internal conflict. There is a little bit of drama um, and some changes are occurring. But there are some lessons here, okay? Lessons to apply to. Um, I do see that there is some slow-moving energy coming in, meaning some things may take um, longer than what you want. That could be with finances or creating more stability, reliability, um, you know, something for the long term. So it's slow and steady and the energy is as well. Um, there is going to be some kind of um, opportunity is going to present itself or it's uh, some kind of an offer. Um, definitely looking at this, um, Virgo, I do see that matters of the heart, there is something that... You know, it's like if you if you're single, you may hook up with someone, but it's got it's not going to be something that's going to be lasting. All right, or you don't want you don't think it will be. There's two energies here, okay? I do see the energy of a Scorpio or someone who exhibits those energies. Scorpio energy also could mean there's some secrets here too. There's nothing not everything is known, okay? So I'm seeing that energy too. Um, I do see that there's someone on your mind. Um, this is already someone that you do know. Um, it could be someone from the past or somehow this person is coming in significantly. Because I do see love, love. There is a such intense energy here with matters of the heart. They're really coming in strongly. Um, there is some helpful energy here too. There are people around that um, want to help you, especially if you want, if you need some help. Okay, because there could be some sudden changes or maybe you need the help. Okay. Um, 
a lot of things that you've been wanting, a lot of things that you do desire, things that you do want to do, or it's there. You just have to kind of keep pushing forward, okay? It is a time to relax. It takes up time for yourself and think a lot of things through as well, okay? I think that's the best way I can explain that this week. <laughs> All right. All right, Virgo, follow me on um, Instagram. I post daily birthdays, and it is Virgo season now. I post daily um, readings, too. I will be most likely starting something new with me. I always make changes. You never know. Um, this was a reading for the week of August 31st through September 6th. For all of you that celebrate a birthday this week, I want to wish you a very happy birthday, a wonderful solar year ahead. Much love, health, prosperity, and so forth. Um, I know a lot of you have been writing about birthday readings. I do still do the ones I used to do, um, dailies with the Astro Dice that, that is still available and the short version I'm doing now, the solar years are still available. So that's all on my website and the link to my website is below this video anyway. So I just want to mention that and, um, cause I got a few of those and my assistant, she's really great at answering questions about readings, but lately she's been on and off too, cause she's not feeling the best. Um, that's about it. So for everyone else, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll catch you back here next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Um, until then, all the best and bye for now.